Over at the Telstra Dome, Melbourne kicked off at home against Central Coast, the curtain raiser to the victory's A-League clash with Sydney. Melbourne attacked from the start, just not enough venom on Rebecca Tegg's shot from the edge of the area. A victory corner saw Brittany Timko centimetres away from a scoring header. The Canadian international was close again when left unmarked at the top of the box. In the 25th, it looked like Tim Coe finally got one in, but she'd been overzealous penetrating the defence and the goal was disallowed. Rebecca Tegg then tried to make amends with a glancing header. And when Central Coast failed to clear, the ball fell to Sarah Grunewald, but again, the finish was lacking. and free kick produced a great save from Matilda's keeper, Melissa Barbieri. While at the other end, a series of headers couldn't confuse Mariners keeper, Lisa Hartley. After 52 minutes of play, a long floating kick from Marlies Oostam saw the first W League goal scored on Melbourne soil. Eight minutes later, Rebecca Tegg skipped through the Mariners' defence to slot another victory goal, making it one each for the two Kiwi internationals. <laughs> Melbourne continued to look dangerous, but Hartley managed to prevent further damage appearing on the scoreboard. So, two goals and three points for Melbourne. Ustam and Tegg the scorers, leaving victory captain Tal Karp happy with the effort. I mean, I'm very proud of our girls. We all stuck together. There were some nerves at the beginning, but we pulled together really well. We played a very good defensive game, I think. The counter-attacks were good. We now just have to, I think, work through the middle of the park and work on our distributive game. But generally, very happy with our performance.